Hi right, guys, this is probably one of the first, um, probably EXO packs that was delivered. Uh, I was at the Hunt Expo and uh, spoke with, well, all of them down there, Steve, Mark, Jake, Justin, um, and got myself a K4. Uh, I had a K2 and then in Bozeman here, uh, I ran a mystery ranch. Love my mystery ranch, but I saw the K4 here and decided to give it a whirl. Um, and it was delivered today. So I got a notification late last week and it already got here today. So I'm going to uh, give you guys an unboxing so you guys can get an idea. If there are questions, you know, put them in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Um, and we'll, we'll get it going. So this is the K4 and it is in the Ranger Green. And I ordered hip belts for both sides. Um, there's one of them. Uh, they got a laser cut molly on the back. They are fairly large. Um, Big enough for a cell phone. Um, obviously some ammo, plenty big. So obviously mitten. Um, there's the other one. I always run one on each side. If I'm elk cutting, I run calls in one, uh, windicator or scent in another. So I definitely use both. Um, here's the pack. Uh, and when we were there at the expo, they were taking a bunch of measurements for height, weight, um, you know, waist, everything. Um, I'm tall and lanky. I'm 6'3", anywhere from 170 to 190 pounds, depending on the season. Uh, I'm probably 175 right now. Um, but. Once again, this is the K4, that's a 5,000. So I don't know, um, I'm gonna go through their, their website for their setup. Um, like I said, I did have the K2. This is a medium frame. Um, and I'll go through here and set it all up and I'll show you. It's pretty pretty similar to their K3, K2 or K3 packs, but um, you know, it does come off here, and then you can obviously adjust them. They've got their, their clips on the inside now. They don't have their um, system here that they had on the previous ones. You can see that it is right here. You can see that it's uh, built in to the Molly panel now. Um, so new technology um, mixed with their old, so same style where you can go up and down just a different way of connecting it um, the adjustments on the inside here so you got to take the bag apart um, the waist belt is extremely comfortable from when I tried it on at the expo um, since I'm smaller around the waist I wear 34 pants I tend to like a belt that wraps all the way around not stop on the on the cusp of your hip um, and I I have two herniated discs so a nice lumbar pad is is key and this has a, a different density foam I know there was several other guys um, in prototypes when Steve was making them that they've sent out numerous versions um, but needless to say is uh, they, they do not have the removable lumbar pad anymore like they did on the K3. So I'm gonna give this a whirl and see how it fits. I really like how narrow and slender it is. So if you're in like a day mode, you don't have to have it all ballooned out. Um, I went with a 5,000 because the general rule of thumb is every thousand cubic inch you can get uh, about a day's worth of stuff. So technically on normal gear this is five days but obviously i run my own lightweight gear um, my own food so i'm able to probably stretch this to easily seven eight days 
maybe nine. Um, sometimes if I go longer, I pull out the meat shelf and I put my dry bag that has my clothes, you know, sleep pads, stuff like that in the dry bag that's in the meat shelf. So I'm utilizing the meat shelf when I'm going in. Um, but yeah, so that's the K4. If there's any questions um, initially, uh, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll make sure that I, I monitor it. There goes the box. I'll monitor it and then I'll answer some questions for you. But I'll give you a, a rundown here. So you can see that it's got a different attachment system. So there's the laser cut panels. Um, obviously they got them here too. This is for their water bottle holder, I believe. They had it on um, show at the expo. Uh, and, I, and I also know that you can run the auto lock buckles on them. Um, I'm a big fan of the auto lock buckles that Mystery Ranch has. So I will probably rob, well not probably, I will. I will rob my other packs um, because auto locks are, are freaking awesome. Uh, they're a pain when they're frozen and they get stuff bound up in them, but needless to say, they, is they don't slip. Um, but EXO, they do have a conversion for it, so you can buy um, their auto lock buckles for them. So, anywho, um, I'll give you guys uh, some time to look this brief videos video over, and then I will, like I said, monitor the comment section here. And if there are any other video or questions, comments that you guys would like, I can give you another follow-up video, um, and then we'll be able to, uh, you know, get you guys content so you can check out a K4 yourself. So, same roll top design uh, as they had last year. Um, horseshoe zipper, and then it's got like a spotting scope for the um, center zip, or if you were a puffy, I run the Brooks. Uh, first light brooks so i'll put that in there um, and the other thing that i i've had for numerous years uh, is i had this se here and this is a zula and it is sharp as any other knife you can imagine out there but i had a leduc on my mystery ranch it's an el cheapo um outdoor edge i believe it is but i went to Justin at Rasco, he's local here in town, and he got me some adapter pieces so I can obviously mount this on my shoulder strap. Um, so I'll actually be utilizing my SE Azula, and very, very, very affordable and very, very high quality. So that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.